What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. That's the E D W E, the Black. I'm back, and so we finally get the word on Deshaun Jackson and, and Alshon Jeffrey. Basically, they're going to be out the next two games, and it's just. Why does this always happen to us? Like, I feel like the Eagles sold their souls just to get that one Super Bowl. But even the year that we got to the Super Bowl, but even the year we got to the Super Bowl, we suffered major injuries. I mean, Except maybe 2016, I think every year we've been hit with a major injury. The only thing I can remember from 2016 is Lane Johnson being suspended and that really messed up our offensive line because Big V was trash on the right side. And and so because of that, it just messed up our whole offense. I think in the Seattle game, a lot of a couple people got hurt. But other than that, nothing major. And then obviously 2017, we lose Jason Peters. We lose Carson Wentz. We lose Jordan Hicks. We lose Darren Sproles. We lose, I think, Chris Marigold. Like, we lost key contributors to our team. But we were still able to pull out the Super Bowl. Which was, to me, always going to be impressive. Because you suffer injuries in major spots, but you're still able to pull out the big one, you know? They were struggling, too, well, especially after Carson Wentz uh, got hurt. And then last year, Wentz again. Uh, Jason Peter in and out of games. Uh, Darren Sproles for, like, most of the year. It's just, and, and now this. You know, we lose Malik Jackson week one. We lose Timmy Jernigan week two, although he's only going to be gone a month. But that's still a lot of time. Then we lose Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson, and Dallas Goddard all in the same day. It's just like, what did we do to deserve this? Like, I honestly, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Now, we got the Lions and we got the Green Bay Packers. Worst, best case, worst case scenario, obviously, is going 0-2. What's most likely to happen is us going one and one. And if we go two and oh, I mean, oh my God, then it would be a complete turnaround and I wouldn't be expecting it. But it's just like, again, it's just like, why is this, why is this got to keep happening? Like, is there a curse on this team or something like that? I, I just don't get it. Because even while teams are losing team guys, sometimes they're not losing them for the whole season. Sometimes they're losing them for a couple of weeks. We losing dudes for like a while. And it's just so continuous every year. That's the thing. And again, it's not just random dudes. It's key players. You know? Key players. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. But, and I said this in my video yesterday. Sunday is a must win. It is a must win. Because the Lions... We, I guess we can deal without Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey without them for the Lions. It, and, and even going to Green Bay with our weapons, it, it was still going to be hard either way because it's Aaron Rodgers at home. But I mean, it, it, but Sunday is a must win because we, we got to keep pace with the Cowboys who we knew going into the season they were going to start off 3-0. We knew this, but I had us neck and neck with them because I didn't have us losing to Atlanta. And that's what makes this loss so much harder to swallow. You know, remember I said we were going 11-5, and five, which means we can only afford four more losses on the season. So, I mean, we'll see. And then we haven't, I haven't heard anything about Dallas Goddard yet, but by the fact that they activated a tight end from the practice squad up lets me know that He's probably not playing. So that's more great news. But, uh, 
uh, I'll give my prediction video tomorrow and we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you're not down with that, I've just got three words for you. Fly was fly. Peace out, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.